Hi lovelies and welcome back to my channel. If this is your first time here, my name is Amy and I'm a cruelty-free makeup enthusiast. We are actually here to talk about eyeshadow palettes. So the lovely Allie Glines and the lovely Samantha March collaborated and created an eyeshadow palette tag and it's kind of gone viral in the beauty community. I've been loving watching them and so I figured I would do it as well. So without further ado, let's get started. The first category is newest palette in my collection and that would be the Orange Capsule Collection from Sugar Pill. This is a beautiful, beautiful palette. I love the whole aesthetic of it, that it's just one giant pill. You have some beautiful brights here, and then you have some more kind of reddish, neutral, warm tones on this side. I love the way that it's shaped. It's actually not as big as I originally thought it would be. You can see it's kind of like the size of my head. The brights here very much reminded me of Jouer's, I think it was their Tan Lines palette. I never got my hands on it, and I heard that one was a little disappointing so when I saw this and these shades right here reminded me so much of it I knew I wanted to get my hands on it so Sugar Pill is a really fantastic independent vegan cruelty free brand well most of it's vegan anyway so let me swatch these both for you because these are so pretty so that's the blue and then that's the duochrome shade Aren't they stunning? I love that duochrome shade. So that was it for my newest palette in the collection. I've actually played with this several times. I think it performs phenomenally. Really, really good formula. Onto the oldest palette in my collection, and that is one of my most loved. That is the Modern Renaissance from ABH. This palette is my oldest palette in my collection. As you can see, I've hit pan in several shades. I've hit pan in Tempura, Golden Ochre, Love Letter, and Cypress Umber. Of all the shades in here, Love Letter is still my absolute favorite shade. It's just this deep berry shade that I just love so, so, so much. It's so romantic. And I love that you can go super neutral with this palette. You can have berry tones, you can have orange tones, and I just think it's so versatile. And I, I still use it all the time. I think it works wonderfully. And I'm slightly kind of like nonchalantly panning this thing. And eventually I'd like to hit pan in every single shade. I'm hoping to do that this year. But again, with me, I always want to just switch up my makeup, switch up the palettes that I'm using. But I really, really do want to use this to completion because it is just totally, totally worth it. And I just, it's an OG. This thing changed the makeup industry. Next, we have most expensive. Now, I actually have two of them because they're worth the same amount. And these are both of my ABH Pro palettes. So I have volume one and volume three. Volume three is personally my favorite if we want to talk about favorites because I love the shades in here. But these each retail for $60, which is very, very hefty. I did pay full price for these. At the time, I thought they were completely worth it. Um, and I still really, really like them. I like the formula. It took me a really long time to actually fall in love with volume one. I remember when it first came out, I jumped on it. Had I known that the other volumes were going to be released back to back, I think I probably would have held off on this one. But as I've given some time to it, the more I've played with it, I've actually really, really liked this palette. I'm actually wearing it today. I have, let me see, I did D3 in uh, like the outer part of my eye. And then I did E4 and I used that a little bit more in my crease and on the lid and then E3 on the lid. And then I did C3, C2 to kind of just like spice up the lid. And then I did E1 on the inner corner. So I am very happy that I have both of these in my collection. They're both very versatile. I would say that their formulas are very different from the normal Anastasia formula. Uh, for one thing, these are pigments. And second thing, these are actually a vegan formula, which I think is quite nice. Now, the next is most affordable, and that is this one right here. This is my CoverGirl True Naked Peach Punch Palette. I think it retails for around $8.99. It depends on where you're located but that's this cutie right here. Love the peachy shades in it. It smells so good and I'm just so happy that CoverCurl became cruelty-free. It's great to have such a big accessible brand 
that is, you know, available to the masses. Now for my everyday palette, I had to think about what is it that I tend to gravitate towards on the daily? It's definitely more to the neutral side. So for that reason, I picked up my Soft Glam palette from ABH. Now I love Anastasia Beverly Hills. You're gonna see a lot of palettes as you've already seen so far. And this is my Soft Glam. It's already very, very well used. I absolutely love this palette. And I remember when it first came out, I'm like, oh, snores, Phil, no one needs this, it's a neutral palette. And I saw my friend Lauren from Little Blushing Birdie, she actually did our friend Jen's wedding makeup using this palette, and I thought it looked so pretty. And then after that wedding, I went out and bought this, and I've used this so many times. I'm an actor on the side, so I've used this a lot for theater production as well. For my favorite shade, I think it would definitely be the Sultry. And Sultry is this beautiful bronze there. I just love that shade so, so much. The next is my most colorful. So I actually have a bunch of colorful palettes here. I'm trying not to double dip necessarily and use one palette over multiple times. So as much as I want to say it's my ABH Pro Volume 3 for the Norvina palette. I'm actually going to go in with my Nomad Antilles palette. Love Nomad. Again, indie, cruelty-free, vegan brand. So awesome. Guys, look how cute this packaging is. First of all, I love the flamingos. So look at these beautiful shades. How bright and beautiful. You have these really punchy pinks and oranges and purples and blues and yellows and I love this thing. It's a super soft formula so you have to be really careful when using it but because it's so buttery I find it very easy to apply. It just there's just a lot of fallout, just FYI, but I love this colorful palette. Next is my smallest palette, and that would be the Too Faced Hot Buttered Rum palette. Isn't this the cutest little thing you've ever seen? I don't know what it is because I'm not the biggest fan of Too Faced formula. I've learned that as years have gone by. This tiny little palette that came out this past Christmas has a phenomenal formula. I love it because it has this mustard shade, this beautiful red. You have a little bit of an icy white in here, a champagne. You have a dark brown with shimmer, a nice crease transition shade that's a little bit on the taupey side. You have a cream shade. It's just a lovely little palette. It also smells delicious like a lot of Too Faced products do. And I just love this little thing. Every time I use it, it's really quick. I know I can get a good look out of it, and it is the tiniest one, definitely, in my collection. Now for the largest palette in my collection, I had a little trouble figuring out the actual largest one because some of them are kind of wide, and some of them are different shaped, but I think this is right. So this is the Profusion Mirage palette. This palette is so, so lovely. It's 35 shades? Yeah, it's a 35 shade palette of basically a sunset, and it is a really, really beautiful palette. If you want to support a company that's not Morphe, that has bigger palettes, but has really good quality. Profusion is fantastic. They're also logic, Logical Harmony approved. So if you're like, eh, Morphe, I'm not sure if they're cruelty free. This is a really, really good option for you. I love this palette. I think they could have done a little bit of editing down because there are some shades like these kind of reddish browns right here are very, very similar. Some of the nudes and the creamy colors are a little similar as well, but I love this palette. It is phenomenal. And I want to say it's under like 15 bucks. Like it's around 11, 12, 13 dollars, somewhere around that price point. It's definitely worth the money. And I don't know if this is still available at Walmart. I know people aren't going out shopping right now, but if you wanted to get your hands on a nice big palette, I highly recommend this one. The next category is best memory, and I actually have two palettes for this. And the reason being is because both of them were given to me by my husband, and I have just really good memories surrounding them. So the first one that I have, I remember when the images dropped for this, and I just loved the concept of it. I loved the collection, and it was so inspiring, and it was so colorful. The images were beautiful. The color story was unique, and that's the Morte palette by Melt Cosmetics. This palette has just such lovely shades, and my husband got this for me. I think I told him about it. Whenever it was teased, it was October or November, and I remember telling my husband, I really like just showing it to him, being like, this is the coolest thing. 
he went on that day, like in October, November, put in the password that Mel Cosmetics had put out and he bought this for me and I'm so happy I have it. He also gave me the Illumination highlighter and I have such a wonderful memory because he gave it to me on Christmas day and I remember being so excited and I couldn't wait to play with it and every time I open it up, it just reminds me of him. So the second palette that I have that he also gave to me is the Pretty Guardian Sailor Moon palette from ColourPop. And I honestly was such a huge Sailor Moon fan growing up, up through all, I mean, I still watch Sailor Moon. I've been watching it on Hulu recently. I have no shame in admitting it. It's so good. It's all about like strong young women, empowered, you know, and doing the right thing and fighting for love because love makes everything worth it in the end. So when ColourPop actually teased this, I went, oh my God, I need this palette. And Chris actually took me to Ulta and we bought this right in the store and I just, I love this palette. It's so much fun. It's pastels and some neutrals and it's so, so pretty. And I love that there's this hologram kind of packaging on it, which is super cute. Let me swatch the the Mare Serentitatis. I don't know how to pronounce that. I really don't know how to pronounce that. It's like a pink, it's, a, it's like a gold glitter, but with pink shift, love. Next palette is worth the hype. So this palette I lusted over. I wanted it so bad. I remember when they weren't restocking it and everyone was like, we don't want the other palette that you put out. We want this one. And when they restocked it, I was like, I'm gonna get it. And honestly, I may complain about the formula sometimes. For me, it is a bit harder to work with, but the color story still makes it worth it. It's still worth the hype. This is the Melt Cosmetics Gemini palette and people lost their minds over this palette. And for good reason, it is the grungy palette of my dreams. I love the greens, especially because there's olive toned greens in here, which olive is actually my favorite shade of green, green being my favorite color. And then you also have this really deep dark black and then these more neutral warm tone shades and the packaging with the roses with the little wet droplets on them it's worth it. It's an expensive palette. Melt's palettes are in the $50 range, like $54, $56, I want to say. But you know what? They are, just the color stories are just phenomenal. And that's why I think that this is totally worth it because I love this palette so much. And true love lasts a lifetime. The next category is not worth the hype. And it's the Conspiracy palette. So it's balanced with neutrals on the top row and then you have more shimmery darks uh, at the bottom row and then you have more bright colors in the center. So if you wanna use a pop of color in the center, you can. I don't mind this palette. It is a little disjointed, I think. I, I think it could have used a little bit more editing, but I understand that Shane wanted certain colors that really inspired him and that were part of his life, that were true to his brand. So I don't, hate this palette because I do enjoy using it, but I just feel like it wasn't worth the huge hype that it got. I mean, this thing sold out in like seconds and people were waiting in hours and hours and like online queues and everything. I got mine the day it came out through Beautylish. I had no issue, um, but I just remember people being so disappointed not being able to get their, their mitts on it. And I just feel like It's not the best palette I have, so it's not worth that hype. The next part is a little bit tricky because it's a favorite palette from a favorite brand. I'm cheating a little bit here because I'm using several brands. So it's gonna be several palettes from, favorite palettes from several brands that are my favorite. So let's talk about Nabla because I absolutely love Nabla. I started using their products last year. I can't get enough. Their eyeshadows are great. So my favorite palette from them is the Secret Palette. This is still one of my favorite palettes of all time. First of all, I love the packaging. I love that there's like the moon and the roses and the sun and the snake and it's just so, so cool. And I love the inside too. It's so versatile because you have a little bit of pink, a little bit of blue. This rosemary shade is my absolute favorite. Let me show you. It's just this deep, 
green shimmer that I absolutely love. And I just think it's great. There's some neutrals in here. You get a black, you get some browns, and I love this thing. If you haven't tried Nabla and you want to try a palette from them, this is the one that I highly recommend. Another favorite brand of mine is ColourPop. ColourPop makes wonderful formulas. This is still my ride or die ColourPop palette. This is the Good Sport. Unfortunately, you can't get this anymore. This was a fall release two years ago now, I wanna say, and I just love this thing. I love that there's purple and there's neutral and there's greens again, greens, I love my greens, but Rookie is my favorite shade from this palette. Now, Rookie is actually a burnt orange with blue and like purpley shimmer, and it is just stunning stunning all over the lid. Do you see that? Like, so beautiful. I'm so sad that people can't get a hold of it anymore, but it's still one of my favorite palettes. I still reach for this all the time, even if it's not fall, but when it is fall, I'm like, oh, in September especially, I love wearing this palette. Two more favorite brands that I feel like I have to talk about because I have to mention these palettes. So Menagerie Cosmetics makes one of my favorite eyeshadow palettes palette formulas as well. This is the Feral palette. I've talked about this so many times. I love this palette. It, again, has green, <laughs> but there's pink in there. There's this purple. Guys, this purple is, is stunning. It's just, and purples aren't the easiest things to make. Look at that. I love, love, love this palette. The yellow in here is phenomenal. The orange in here is phenomenal. The shimmers are from Pack Leader, Will Fling, and then um, Huchera, Huchera, which is the green one, are fantastic. So again, if you want a really, really good, like, all-around palette, this is fantastic. Last one of one of my favorite brands. This is from Lime Crime. This is the Venus XL, and I absolutely adore the reds in here, there's pinks in here, there's some taupey shades. I just love this palette. I actually did my sister-in-law's makeup for a wedding that she was in as one of the bridesmaids and I used this palette because she was wearing a burgundy dress and I loved it. I dipped into Botticelli which is this deep um, merlot shade and it's just so beautiful. It's so easy to use. I love Lime Crime's formula for their eyeshadows. They are a bit on the expensive side. So what I try to tell people is that wait until they have a sale because about a couple times a year, they do a 50% off sale on all their eyeshadows. So you can get it half off. So wait for a coupon or when they have one of those sales, it's totally worth it. This palette is phenomenal and it's still one of my favorites. I still kind of use this all the time. Anytime I'm, I really want reds or pinks, this is the palette I go for. Alrighty, my loves, that is it for this video. I hope you enjoyed all this palette talk. I know I did. I could talk about palettes all day long. Are any of these your favorites? And comment down below on all the categories of yours, like which are your most used, your most expensive, your everyday. Um, I'll put all the information down below, so I'm looking forward to hearing from you. If you liked this content, please remember to like, comment, and subscribe. It really helps me out. And until next time, remember to stay compassionate and chic. Bye!